I've been to very many beautiful spas around the world. And the question I ask is, does this place have a soul? And if your answer is yes, you can track that back to the leader, either the manager or the owners that are breathing the life and soul into the place. You, you guys have good people, we have good people, you have good people, everybody has good people. You really have to think about, well, what do you do differently with your people? How do you treat them differently? How do you manage them differently? How do you recruit them differently, train them differently? And it's really important for them to be able to, to, to be angry, to be upset, to disagree with your leadership. It's really important for your team to have a voice because that is the only way that you can take a random bunch of people and turn them into a cohesive group moving in the same direction. We were asked as speakers on this conference to be a bit controversial, so I'm going to be a bit controversial and say that I don't actually agree with this topic. I don't think you can motivate staff. I think as a leader, you can create an environment where people do that for themselves. And how do we get that? By encouraging, motivating, making them feel that there's a purpose to come to work every day beyond, I get a paycheck. You know, they want to be connected to something that's bigger than what they are. So if we can drive employee engagement up, we're going to have happy clients, we're going to have client retention, we're going to have a larger market share, and we're going to be able to have profitable businesses.